Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we are cleaning out this garage and we are gonna find some goodies here today, I'm sure of it. Plus, as part of the deal, she is giving me a bunch of Tonka toys in exchange for a lower price. So let's get this video started and let's see what we can find today. Thank you, all. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try and do something with this stuff here. You're gonna try and what? Try and find a home for these. Oh. Oh. <laughs> James, you need to lift weights. Well, that was an exercise contraption, huh? Okay. Nope. This is all chemicals, right? Rugs, you got it. Watch the bottom on this one here, buddy. Let's see, that's all. Oh, it's Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear, where'd you see Yogi Bear? It's a picnic basket. Oh, <laughs> I got it. Hey, boo boo. Like, I'm gonna find a home for this bike. No, that's just gonna have to go to scrap metal, I think. Yep. I think that'll look good in your basement. No. You don't think Shannon would like that? Oh yeah? Yeah. And you're getting rid of it? I don't know. It's the ugliest thing. <laughs> It's a conversation piece. It is, it's got two faces on it. Yeah. James will put it in his basement. Huh? You'll put this in your basement, won't you, James? Hey, that's actually pretty cool looking. I won't put it in my basement, but it is. What are I thinking? Yeah. You're not gonna take Pinky home? What the no. heck, man? In the trunk, okay. Right down the middle. Oh, you so said this was cracked right down the middle. So let's grab. They are, ladies and gentlemen, the Tonkas and the cars. So. Look at that Lots beauty. Gonna hold up. That's why I got you here. Whoops. Now you're breaking stuff. Tonka car carrier. So this is right up your alley. Oh my gosh, is that 
That's gonna look great in my basement, isn't it? Okay. Set it on top of this box real quick. Or, you know what I meant. Sure. Okay. So this is one of the boxes that we got out of the property and uh, I thought we'd go through it. I don't know exactly what's in here, but I was excited to see it, so. Yeah. Oh, you know what that is? That's Buck Rogers. Oh my gosh. Buck Rogers. Oh. Gil Gerard, I think his name was from the TV series. Oh. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh. That's Lone Ranger's horse? No way. Lone Ranger's horse, you think, huh? I don't see any markings on it. Oh, there's saddlebags in here and yeah. Indian headdress. Oh my gosh. Uh, I wonder if that's a, I wonder if that's for the Buck Rogers guy. What else we got in here, Ma? Oh, there's a bugle. Saddlebags. There's a bugle in that saddlebag. Wanna play us a, a tune? Bugle. A bugle. A bugle. Oh, do it, do it. Oh, don't you take it. Do it, do it, do it. We got King Kong. King Kong. That or it's Sasquatch. I think it's, a, I don't know. I don't think that. What do you? We got some rolling around. Maybe it is. What's it say on the foot? On the floor. What am I going to my leg? It's, uh, <laughs> I can't see it. I can't read it. Oh no, made in Hong Kong, not King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, people are going to really go wild with these things. Yeah. You know, the cowboy things. Right? It's like, what cowboy did they go to? You know? Yeah. There's a hat. All right, let's see what's next here. Oh, oh no! Austin, the six million dollar man. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? How do you know? You gave or Santa gave me one in 1976 or whatever. Oh. He came with a motor, and you'd push this little armature thing, and it would cause his arm to pick up the motor. And then, of course, they're all broken today because the kids would try and lift all sorts of crap. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. That made my day right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is uh is this Johnny West? Yeah, that's him. You know what that looks like? That looks like Custer. Who? Custer? Custer last stand? I don't know. And I had this guy when I was a kid. I'll have to look him up. Just yesterday, yeah. yeah, I remember playing with this in the back of Uncle Bob's van when we went up to Strawberry Point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what all those accessories are for. Do you believe she was gonna? This is gonna go to the landfill. All right, mom. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that fell out. Oh, it's uh, Cub Scout. Yeah. Cub Scout books. Right there's the outfit. Yeah. Wow, scarves. we got scarves. Yeah. The whole outfit. Wow. Boy, I tell you, that'll go. It will go for sure. That's yeah. insane. That must be part of the Cub Scout thing. Weebelows, is that part of the Cub Scout deal? Yeah. Is it? Ooh, how about a lightsaber? Yeah, yeah. A what? A lightsaber. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> Very excited. I got my stuff here from that clean out. First of all, this wooden wagon is incredible. Look at the wheels on that thing, first of all. Uh, if you look at the side, it says Janesville ball bearing. So it must have been a ball bearing company that actually made this wagon. And that's what I'm guessing anyway, or somebody made it and put their logo on it. But here's another really cool thing. Check this out. That is a 1923 Wisconsin license plate. I'm sure that was put on after the fact, but that 
handle wood look at this metal configuration down here it is incredible simply incredible uh, then we've got a looks like a murray tricycle nothing too you know fantastic about it but still not bad got that cool sled i've never seen one quite like that before and that's a really nice piece but then we got the murray the murray wagon look how thick this is and how it tapers down it's got all the hubcaps on it it's got the ru the rubber around the handle still which is incredible and it is just in amazing condition and rolls super easy that my friends could be a hundred to three hundred dollars this one i don't even know what to put a value on it so as much as i would like to keep them i think they're going to take up too much room and i would rather find someone that collects and deals with wagons that would really appreciate them so i'm going to try and find a new place for probably all four of those and then we've got the playboy magazines box that doesn't have any playboys so let's just take a minute and go through this so i'm gonna take the shirts inside and i'll do the shirts downstairs so we got some wilson rackets miss chris professional champ we got crescent deluxe trio sports times two okay we got quiet pga tournaments from the john deere classic probably no value there oh cool there's a hatchet wow i had no idea i don't see any markings on it still really nice antique hatchet there not bad uh well, we got just some tins a tin and a tin empty okay borkum riff don't know if there's any value there i thought that was a hat it's just a thing for plants okay okay got some electrical supplies assorted stove bolts so looks like just pretty much some fasteners nails so we'll see if these workum rift tins are worth anything if they're not probably not a whole lot of value in here so let's go in the house and check out the rest of the stuff here it is here is the toys that i got from that job and i could not be more excited let's just start off at this end here we've got the tonka mighty tonka dozer t9 don't know anything about them i'm into the trucks and cars but man this is so freaking big i don't ever remember seeing a dozer that big before we'll come back to the rest of these this is also the mighty tonka right you're gonna see a pattern here so we got the mighty tonka dump truck we got the mighty tonker mighty tonka road grader blade goes up and down turns and then this flips over for grading the side of the road i've never seen that before that is so cool we've got the mighty tonka car carrier with two vw bugs amazing mighty tonka cement truck And then the other stuff that's not Mighty Tonka, we got a Ford 8000 tractor and wagon. We got the Mighty, or I don't think this is a Mighty Tonka, just a Tonka loader. But again, in exceptional condition, the logos are old, gotta be from the 70s. This I was excited to see because the, the, the decals, check this out. Look at the nylon decals, still says road grader, still has the front one. This is always worn off. And this one here, it's got the engine on the inside. Basically, the only thing I think I can see that it's missing is the exhaust pipe, okay? It does not have a blade, so it is missing the blade as well. Then we got the Tonka. This guy right here, beautiful, beautiful green. 
This was in the group two. I don't know anything about it. Fisher Price. I'm assuming this is the race car driver for the Fisher Price car. And then this, I still have to look up. This was her husband's when he was a boy. I've never heard of this company before. Steer O Toys Incorporated, Chicago, Illinois. Missing the windshield, it looks like. So I charged her $200 for this job. It was easily a $400 job. But for me to get all these included in that, to find out that there's you know, a Murray tricycle, a Murray wagon, the wooden wagon, the sled, and not only that, these guys up here, right? You know, the Indian, the cowboy, the horses, Buck Rogers and Steve Austin, the bionic man, and King Kong. I mean, it's just crazy. It was the deal of a lifetime for me. Hey everybody, that is gonna wrap up this video and I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, there was a lot of editing that took a long time to get this video out, a lot of hours put into this 15 minute video. So if you could please like it, subscribe, and, and share this video with your friends, I'd appreciate it. Uh, anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for being a part of this channel. Be safe out there and we will see you at the next cleanup. Bye everybody.